Hey, welcome back to the set, y'all. Today, we're gonna do some fried pork chops and taters on the Blackstone griddle. It's gonna take you back to my childhood growing up where we had this every week, no matter what. I wanna show you the beautiful breading that we use to bread these pork chops in. And then these taters are super simple, but oh, so delicious. some good groceries. All right, so first things first, let's get our Blackstone pre-warmed and going. We're just gonna set all the burners on low, get them ready for those pork chops and taters. All right, let's get started with our potatoes. These are Yukon Gold potatoes. I'm using about four to five potatoes, and I just cut these just in circles, just like this. What I also like to add to this is a sweet onion, and same thing here, just like to chop these up just very thinly and this goes well with the potatoes. We had these fried pork chops and taters like almost every week. This was a staple in our house. My mom would come home from working and she'd bread up some pork chops and have them fried taters in an iron skillet. Boy, it's some good groceries. So this right here kind of puts me in mind of this. So it's kind of an ode to my childhood. So to get these potatoes started, we're gonna need to use liberal amounts of oil here and a little bit of butter. You want these potatoes all kind of have a piece of that top. You don't want them on top of one another. You're not gonna get everyone off of each other, but try to get it as good as possible. All right, with the potatoes down, I'm gonna lay the onions on top of these. Now, seasoning wise, we're gonna come in here with some of this Blackstone Essential Blend. Potatoes require a lot of seasoning, y'all. Put some seasoning on your taters. All right, now we're gonna get our pork chops seasoned up before we get into the breading. Crucial that you season these up beforehand. And do the other side. All right, what I like to use now is some buttermilk. Use whole buttermilk for this. All right, let's talk about the flour. Just using some all-purpose flour here, y'all. I'm gonna season this flour up. A little bit of season salt first. A little bit of the essential blend. You gotta season this up, y'all. State law. Just come in here, massage this around. We got our buttermilk, got our flour seasoned. Now, it's time to bread these pork chops. All right, to bread our pork chops, we're just gonna lay it in this buttermilk. We're gonna go one side, we're gonna flip it over, do the other side. Now we're gonna put it over into our seasoned flour. Make sure every piece of this pork chop is covered with that beautiful breading. Hey folks, I do appreciate you watching thus far. Hey, if you don't mind, hit that like button. Also, leave me a comment. I'd love to interact with you. So we got a few of our pork chops breaded. Now let's go check on these potatoes. We need to give them a flip and just kind of fan them out again. All right, we're gonna get our pork chops ready. If you notice, this is different oil than what I used on the potatoes. This is peanut oil. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of shallow fry on our Blackstone top. So now we just get our breaded pork chops. Let's put these down on the top. And you want to kind of take some of your leftover oil. You just want to make sure, come in and get any of the dry spots. This will help create that shallow fry. As our pork chops are going, now we're going to flip these potatoes one more time. Oh man, look at that crust. Look at that crust right there. That's exactly what you want. It's been about two minutes. Let's see what these pork chops look like, y'all. Oh boy, look at that. That's exactly what you want, beautiful crust. Y'all, that's just simply beautiful right there. The griddle top, if you notice, it's a little bit dry up here on these, on these pork chops. My griddle, it pitches to, kind of to the front it's because of the way the concrete is. So I just come up here, catch this oil, come up here so that it comes back down. This is just a word of wisdom from Hussey, take it or leave it, but I'm gonna tell you, these taters are not seasoned well enough. So we're just gonna come in with a little bit of seasoned salt here. We hit it with that essential blend first. I like to come in with some of this Lowry seasoned salt. All right, so once our pork chops hit about 155 degrees, these are ready to take off. And we're just gonna come in here. Boy, look at that underside too, boy. Ain't she pretty? Woohoo, boy. What you talking about? Sunday dinner just got real. Andersons are gonna just love this platter, I'll be honest with you. All right, after those pork chops are off, let's check on these taters. That's how I hear them. They're singing. Y'all hear that? What they look like? Gosh, boy. Look just like mama's taters right there. I had to say so myself. Again, the Andersons, they are gonna be tickled pink. Sunday dinner, fried pork chops and taters. It's done. Can't get no better than this, y'all. Dang it. Best part of the job is right here, right now, where we get to try these groceries. I'm gonna come in here. Ooh, did you hear that? It went crook. This breading, I mean, You hear that? Boy, it's some good groceries. And I'm gonna take some of these taters. So I'll just be honest with you, growing up, 
you know, we didn't cut our pork chops. Basically, mama always said a pork chop has a handle already built in. So you just pick it up and eat it. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Exterior, nice and crunchy. Mm. Nicely seasoned, too. We seasoned that flour. Mm. So moist and tender inside, too. Mm. I like it when a little bit of that breading falls off. It's a little, little good tidbit. Mm. Takes me back to my childhood, y'all. Let's try these taters. Mm. Buttery. Got a little bit of a sweetness to it. Those Yukon gold potatoes are just so good. So good. That onion also adds a little bit of sweetness. Man, it's just fantastic. Mm. I taste that essential blend and that seasoned salt. It's fantastic. Y'all, I really hope you could try this for yourself. Try it for your family. I'm sure they will love it. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by, giving this a look. I hope you can make this for you and your family very soon because I guarantee they'll love it. Hey, head on over to Blackstone Products Network where you find more good recipes just like this. I'm Matt Hussey, and that's some good groceries.